Hey guys, it's me, Panther6, and I have a special treat for you guys from the guys at the Goblin Traders. They sent me over a box of Battle for Zendikar, booster box, not the fat pack, and I'm going to open it and see what's in it. Hopefully we get something awesome. Now, uh, this will be a little bit long, so hopefully we get a expedition. So let's go ahead and start cracking, see what we can find. Open up! Okay, stop. This thing hates me. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. Hopefully we find some good stuff. There's actually a lot of uh, value in this set, and hopefully we get all the value. Every single last bit. All right, so let me go ahead and take all of these out of here. There's 36 packs in a booster box, and we're gonna get all of them. We're gonna get all the expeditions. That's the goal. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with one, and I'll put with every single unboxing I do, I usually put my commons, uncommons, rares, and foils in one place, so that way you guys can see them. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, and you can see some glare off my glasses. Don't be alarmed. Okay, I'm just going to go straight to the uncommons. And that's usually what I do. So, our first one going, we have Firemental Mage. Coastal Discovery. Ah, uh, crap. There we go. Lightened Finn. And our rare is Barrage Tyrant. Um, the good thing about this set is the return of these beautiful, beautiful lands that everybody's wanting. And the reason why people are... Well, some shops are jacking up the price of the fat packs. It's just not a good idea. They shouldn't do that. But I already made a video about that. If you guys want to check it out, it was uh, earlier this week. So check that out for sure. But we're going to continue on the journey. Hopefully we can find something nice. I think I just did. So if you hear me freaking out and possibly having a heart attack, you'll know why. Our first uncommon, we have Serene Stewart. Royal Spout, Retreat to Hagra, our rare is Noyon Dar, Royal Shaper, so that's actually kind of hard to pronounce, in our foil we have Lithomancer's Focus, now sometimes I murder uh, the pronunciation of these cards, just because I can I guess, alright let's keep on going. We're going straight to the uncommons again. Our first uncommon, we have Zulaport's Conflict. Nope, Cutthroat, I'm wrong. Uh, Royals Retribution. Deathless Behemoth. And our rare is an Eldrazi Processor, Blight Herder. Not the Eldrazi I want, but it'll do. It'll do. So how do you guys like a new set? I'm actually thinking it's pretty good. Pretty good. There's some good cards in it. Um, it's a whole lot slower than the last couple of sets in terms of um, constructed play. Well, not really constructed, but more uh, uh, limited, but I don't know. Okay, see our first uh, uncommon here. We have Core Entanglers. That, that glare is terrible. Uh, Marasa's Ranger. Hedron Archive. That way you can see it. I hope that helps out. And our rare... Uh, no, not a rare, but a mythic is Sire of Stagnation. First mythic. We'll take that. Mythics are good. Okay. That will be my shout out to my good friend Anthony who sometimes sounds like uh, Mr. Mackey when he talks. Okay. Our first uh, rare is Serene, not rare, but uh, uncommon is Serene Steward. Second uncommon is Wind Rider Patrol. Third is Jotty Offshoot. 
And our rare is Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. That's a colorless land. I really like the uh, full art lands. I mean, I don't think they're going to be like overly expensive for a while. I think the next set's going to have them. Um, I mean, the juicy things in here are the, the uh, expeditions, which hopefully we pull. I'd like to pull a Scalded Tarn. That'd be nice. All right, first on commas, Unified Front. Eh. Second uncommon is Marasa Ranger. Oh shit! Okay, our <laughs> third um, uncommon is Halimar Tide Collar, and our next mythic is something awesome. We have Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. That's awesome. We pull Gideon. This box. That's that's awesome. That's what I need. I need Gideon. I was, I've not pulled a Gideon, and I've opened several packs of this. Uh, neither I haven't pulled him. I'm next to So that's a first. Gideon's good. Our first uncommon from that pack is Vile Aggregate. Our second uncommon is Rising Miamas Miasma. I can't pronounce that. And our third uncommon is Retreat to Callahelm. Color Helm, Coral Helm, I'm sorry. And this is a good rare. Scatter the Winds. It's actually kind of pricey right now. Okay. So at least we've got a Gideon. So that might be uh, either A, it's going to be the best we'll do, or B, that means this box is going to be insane. I'm going to go for the latter, though. Okay, our first one coming, we have Vampiric Rites. Our second uncommon is Angel of Renewal. Ah, uh, come on. Our third uncommon is Retreat to Balakur. Balakut. And our third, oh, well, not third, but our rare is Serpentine Spike. Brr, Serpentine Spike. Okay, let's keep on going. That light. I gotta do something about my lighting. It's terrible. Hopefully one of these days, once I'm rich and famous or something. Our first one coming for this pack is Skitter Skin. I know. It's strong. Our second one coming is Ulamog's Mullfire. Third on common, common is Titan's Presence. Ooh. And our rare is March of the Tomb. You know what? We're going to do something. We're going to test something here to make this a little bit better for you guys so you can see it. Uh, we're going to take, take a look at camera two. I actually, actually upgraded today to... A new uh, there we go that's a little bit better yeah march of the tomb so yeah there we go I'm good with that that way you guys can see it a little bit better uh, actually traded off my rift today traded off for a couple new um, nice really nice monitors um, traded that and my uh, other monitor. Okay, so here we go. Our first one common, we have Tajuru Warcaller. Our next one common is Ruination Guide. I'm going to ruinate. Our third one common is Blighted Woodland. And our rare is Nissa's Renewal. I don't know much about this is renewal. I don't know if it's a seeing play or not. It may be. You never know. This thing about magic is like sometimes some things will come out. It's it might be in play, might do good, 
and sometimes it doesn't and you'll kind of be shocked one day when maybe this brood monitor might see play I don't know it could happen probably not our next on come is Resolute Blade Master I like him I think he's pretty cool and our third uh, common is Retreat to Ameria. That's actually looking a whole lot better now. It's a whole lot more in focus. And our rare is Radiant Flames. And we got Octopus. And we got Octopus Coking. And here's a good, since, we, since I got it here, show this full art beauty. So pretty. Okay. Keep on going, guys. Okay, so. Keep on going here. So our first one comes Plated Crusher. Our next one comes Malachar Familiar. And this one's good. Horribly awry. Horribly awry. And our rare is Dusk. Dust Stalker. And here's a plane. That way you guys can see it. It's pretty. It's pretty. So I have a new episode of Let's Talk. It should be, it's actually uploading right now to YouTube. So it should be on later tonight. I'll go ahead and edit this after we're done. And hopefully you guys will see it in the morning. Oh, I'm trying to make sure it's in the best quality I can get it. All right, our first one coming. We have Grove Tender Druids. Don't want to. And our next one is an Aldrazi Bane of Balaged. Our next one coming is Crumble to Dust. Our rare is Ghoul Draws Overseer. We should at least get one foil rare. Our no, our foil is grave birthing. Pretty. And here's a swamp. Swamp. Oh, not only did we get a Gideon, we also got a Gideon token. Take that. All right, so let's go on to our next stack. We have quite a bit to go, so hang in there, guys. Now, I usually do these on Twitch, but um, I haven't streamed in a long time. I take it back. I just streamed um, last week when this launched. We opened a box. And um, it's, it's not it's not a bad, not bad. So our first on common, we have Void Attendant. Our second on common, we have Retreat to Balakut. Our next on common, we have Cryptic Cruiser. And our rare is Planner Outburst. And since we're going on up, here we go. We have a mountain. Pretty mountain. And our token is an Eldrazi. Kind of want to show you guys a little bit of everything while we're on this. I don't think I've shown you guys all of the lands yet. Actually, I may have. I may have one more. Let's see. No, I'll show you guys all the lands. Right, let's keep on going. I gotta move my corpses. I call these my corpses. I'm gonna move them to the bottom there. Go straight back to our uncommons. I'm gonna move these. We're running out of room. Alright, our first uncommon we have Drama's Emissary. We had then we have Blighted Step. Deathless Behemoth. And we have a prairie stream. It's one of the new dual lands. I we call them at the shop. We call them tango lands because it takes two to tango. But those are actually seen play. Now I think I'm pretty sure you can get uh, an expedition version of that. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully we can. I pull an expedition that way you guys can at least see it. I would be excited for it. But the chances of pulling an expedition is pretty rare. It's usually one in 70 packs. You might pull one in maybe 
a couple, three, if you bought a case of them, you probably pull two, maybe, hopefully. But other people's been luckier. Our first uncommon, we have Rot Shambler. Our next uncommon is Forerunner of the Slaughter. I got my tongue tied there for a second. Now we have Carrier Thrall. And Drowner of Hope. This is this card is completely emo. We have a foil uncommon Malakir familiar. Let's keep on going. Now, uh, right now, I have downloading in the background. I have the Star Wars beta. Um, Battlefront comes out, I believe, tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, stream, not stream that. I want to get some gameplay of that. I also have the Unreal Tournament um, 2015 um, early access uh, free. It's free, so if you guys want to check it out, whenever I get the gameplay, I'll provide the link. You have to download a client that's very, very similar to Steam, but not as good. All right, our first um, uncommon, we have Catacomb Sliver, Sliver Sifter. I'm sorry, I want to call this Sliver. Processor Assault. Ulamog's Despoiler. And our rare, and I love this guy, is Fathom Feeder. He's awesome. Okay, let's keep on going. We have... I don't think we we're not even halfway done, guys. We got a while to go. Uh, nothing good. Eh, man. That's something good. All right, our first one coming. We have grip of desolation. Molten nursery. Not a place I'd want to take my kids if I had kids. Ulmog's the proclaimer. And our rare, another one of the Tango Lands, Lumbering Falls. And we have a foil, and it's Rune Processor. Um, I used him in uh, uh, pre-release, and he was actually kind of cool to get out late game. Um, I don't know. All right, let's keep on going, guys. But I'd like to know, though, what's your favorite card in this set? Oh... I like him too, even though he's kind of tricky. If it's the one I'm thinking. All right, our first uncommon was a coon stonewalker. Dampening pulse. Infuse the elements with the elements. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. I used him in pre-release, and this is our Eldrazi smothering abomination. It's got the void flying, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you sacrifice a creature. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, draw a card. The trick is, um, as soon as you, in your upkeep, if you have, uh, I would try to get, if you can, some weak-ass creatures out. Um, and if you have multiple creatures, you don't get it out. It says, you know, uh, shoot. Sacrifice a creature. Sacrifice him. <laughs> as soon as you can, but he's he's pretty nice to have out. Um, I liked him. I, I don't know if he's going to get much play. He may. Our uh, foil is Callahan Guide. Okay. So today's been pretty crazy. Actually, this whole week. Ooh, shit. I like what I see. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, our first uncommon is Retreat for Kazandu. See, I told you, I, I butcher these names. Coastal Discovery. Pathway Arrows. This guy used to be a mythic, now he's a rare. Is Father Deer Sovereign. He may get play. And check this out, this is beautiful. I want to show you guys something really, really pretty. Oh, man. A foil forest. 
look at that. That's, I mean, seeing it in person is a whole lot different, but yeah, that's pretty. That's what I want. I'd like to have a bunch of those. That's why you play Magic. That's why the sets may, I don't know, I think the, the foil ones alone, they may be worth some money. The other ones, not so much, maybe about 20, 30 cents each. But those, I think they're worth probably about five bucks, um, just foiled. They're actually kind of hard to pull. I've seen a couple people had um, the, actually the, the, the mountains are actually really, really pretty um, as a foil. And so our, um, let's see, all right, our first uncommon is Stasis Snare. No! Come on, light. There we go. Scythe Leopard. Adverse Conditions. Our rare is Angelic Captain. It's not just a captain, he's an Angelic Captain. Gonna find some expeditions. No, oh, maybe that's a cool car too. All right, our first song coming. We have plated crusher, grove rumbler, tide drifter, and omnas locusts of rage. That is our mythic. That's a good mythic to pull. He's cool. I like him. He's got a really crazy thing. It's like whenever um, a land enters the battlefield under your control, you put a 5-5 five, five, um, red and green elemental creature token on the battlefield. That's pretty awesome. So as soon as he's out, every time a land comes out, that thing becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental. It's late game. If you can get him out early, then that's fantastic. Okay, so our first song coming we have Sky Rider Elf, Pathway Arrows, and Blighted Step, Steep Step, and our we have an Eldrazi. We have the Endless One. Uh, come on! All right, there we go. That's good enough. Yeah, we'll have to definitely fix the lighting here soon. Um, but in my next Let's Talk, that may be later, then sooner you guys will find out. You will find out, hopefully soon. Should be, uh, by now, it should be completely uploaded, published. Alright, first one coming, we have a Resolute Blade Master. Processor Assault. Blighted Gorge. And we got another Tango Land. Shambling Vent. This box is actually pretty good. Also got another Foil Uncommon and Circling Fissure. It's foily. Still not, not, not a Foil Forest, but it, it works. Give me... Meh, 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 meh. I'm cheating. All right, our first song coming, we have Vile Aggregate. Now, some of these you guys are already seeing, but we might find more. Right, you're seeing Miasma, Mesma, Horribly Auri, and Exert Influence. I'm going to exert my influence over you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. Help this channel grow. Got some pretty good content for you guys to check out. I definitely, definitely would appreciate it. With every every sub and every like, it gets me closer from my goal. That's uh, taking over the world. Stasis Snare. Sky Leopard. Spawning Bed. Uh, light. And we have another Noyan Dar, Royal Shaper. That's our second Noyan Dar. 
It might be all down here, hill from here. We only have, looks like, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten more packs, guys. So hopefully something juicy. And again, I'd like to thank the guys over the Goblin Traders. Um, they make this possible for me to do this. And um, I be sure to check them out on at twitch.tv forward slash Goblin Traders. They do streams almost daily. Um, and if you're from around here, be sure to go over there. Give those guys a hug. Tell them you love them. Our first uncommon is Rolling Thunder. Ugh. Transgress the mind. We haven't seen these yet. Core blade roll. There we go. I gotta get it closer. And our rare is Prism Array. There we go. That's a whole lot better. I need to get it closer. Next time I have this all sorted out. Uh oh. Okay, that's cool. Not not to, not what I want, but it's cool enough. It's pretty. All right, first uncommon. We have a Hagra Sharpshooter. Undo Rising. Malakir Familiar. And our rare is an Eldrazi drone called Brood Butcher. He is Brood, and he's going to butcher you. And we got a foil rare, and that's Ugin's Insight. Put that foil over there. Um, so that might be the only foil rare we get. I've, I've opened up bo boxes before, and I've done better. But then again, I've opened up some terrible, terrible boxes. All right, we have our first uncommon. We have Expedition Envoy. Pilgrim's Eye. It looks like a Thopter. It's a Thopter. It is totally a Thopter. Applied to Contract. Cataract, not Contract. And Defiant Bloodlord is our rare. <coughs> okay. Two more packs, countdown, and we'll get this over with. Hopefully we can do another one soon. I don't know. Okay. All right. First one coming. We have Bloodbound Vampire. Core Entanglers. And Fuse with the Elements. And our rare is Veteran War Leader. I can't wait to play battle, uh, Battlefront, though. It's going to be sweet. Well, at least I hope it is. I don't know. Eh, I see a decent card in here. It's got. It's worth a little bit. Uh, retreat to Kazdu. Kazandu. Catacomb Sifter. Royal Spout. And our rare is what I was talking about. It's Bring to Light. It's actually worth a little bit. And our foil is... we got a foil Sky Leopard. Alright guys, we have five more packs to go. And we'll be done here. Hopefully, we're getting Expedition. Oh, expedition. Alright. Rising Miasma. Breaker of Armies. Encircling Fissure and Ally Encampment. I think it's like four dollar rare. I'm not really sure the prices on a lot of these. Some nah, meh, meh, meh. All right, we have Grove Tender Druids, Sylvan Scrying. It's actually really pretty. Slab Hammer. And our rare is Akum Hellkite. Dargan. We got a Dargan. Another Octopus Token. Alright, 
guys. Three more to go. Not, well, we're not looking good. Not looking good at all. All right, first so I'm going to have to turn against. This box is turning against me. Spawning bed. Breaker of armies and Ugin's Insight. Okay. So last two packs we need to punish the packs, so let's do this. You gotta punish the packs, Nikki. The last few packs you have to punish them. So they'll give you something good. Alright, let's see if I punish Ah, yeah, we punished it. We punished them good. We got something good. Something pretty decent. See, Nikki, when you punish a pack, you get something good. I'm sure. It's true, I just did. So if I start punishing you, are you going to be back better? Yeah. Our first one coming, we have Harold of Kozilek telling Geopede. Hedron Archive, and another Prairie Stream. That's good. At least, I mean, if anything, the box is, it's a decent box. There's been some decent pulls, so I'm happy with that. But the question is, will we get a Polluted Delta, Scalding Tarn, Steam Vents, anything? Let's see. It's not going to happen. No, but some, yeah, I'm fine with that too. That's a good way to end the pack. It's a good way to end the box. We have Chasm Guide. Bloodbond Vampire. Halmor Tide Color. And our rare, it's another Tango Land, Cinderglade. So, yeah, last few packs, punished them. I think we got our value there. Um, guys, thank you so much for sticking through this however long it's been. It's been about 30-some minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, next time will be a little bit better. But be sure to hit like and subscribe. And later this week, I'll have some gameplay for um, Unreal Tournament 2015, Star Wars Wars Battlefront Beta, and my tongue's tied. You can tell I've been talking too much. And... Uh, Let's talk, and hopefully episode is the Goblin Traders. But guys, uh, thank you so much for the support. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I love you guys. Take it easy.